Yeah. Um. I guess y'all can hear me, correct? Uh, yes, sir. See ya. Thanks. Hey. Um. I'll start with Jackson. I guess just. Well, I'm sorry. I'm going to go to Steph. Steph, just talk about what was in front of you. What was it that Jackson, Reed, Baker, writing? What were they able to do to help in this shutout? Well, in the run of play, I think we were um, we were good in in being aware of where Mukhtar was. Sometimes Mukhtar, you know, tries to cheat a little bit and then uh, checks for the ball once they once they gain possession um, and then spring the counter. Um, I think we were were for the most part really well aware of where he was at and try to snuff that out early on. Um, I would say he probably had a, a rather frustrating night for him, and, and that that's a testament to how well we did. Another thing is I think they're they're really good on, on set pieces, and um, we we did exceptionally well today. You know, uh, on the corners, uh, and then also that that strange wide free kick is is uh, is is a, is, a, is a weird one for ha having a right foot on it that you know is going to put it on frame. But we handled all those situations really really well, exceptionally proud of the guys. Maz, Jackson. did you have a question for Jackson too? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, sorry. Jackson, just speaking of set pieces, is that something that you guys have been working on? I know it was an Achilles heel, and how important is to get that right as you get ready for the postseason? Yeah, it's huge because a lot of these games are going to be super tight. We know that um, teams will be even, um, and it's going to come down to set pieces in some games. You know that. Uh, so, first of all, I'm not conceding on them, and then maybe we can sneak one on an attacking one, but uh, first and foremost, I, I think on the road and for the playoffs, we're going to need to be solid defending set pieces. Thanks. We'll go next to Jada Evans. Uh, Jada, go ahead. Thanks for taking um, the time, Steph. When you have a situation like today where you win and you guys are into the playoffs, um, how did you feel that you guys handled that situation and uh, had the performance today? It, yeah. Um, if I understood that question correctly, with us, us having a chance to clinch the playoffs, how did we handle that situation today? Yeah, did you um, did you feel that you came out the way that you would want having that that situation? I know you didn't win, but you know, did you feel like the effort and, and what you guys did was uh, what you would want yeah. in that facing that? Yeah, no, I think we had we had a very good game. I think we had better chances. Um, again, I said uh, I thought our defensively we did quite well. Um, we did really well against a team that is on set pieces very strong. Um, I think we did also quite well in keeping the crowd out of it. This is a um, this is my first time playing here, but uh, this is known to be a, a pretty hostile place, um, very, very tight, very uh, um, on top of you. And if if you if if the the home team can get the crowd into it, 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 it gets difficult. And so I think we were able to diffuse the crowd, and, and, and that was a really good thing. So kind of what J Jackson said, you know, this is a really good playoff test, um, and we handled ourselves exceptionally well. I thought. Uh, obviously, we didn't get the win, but um, you know sometimes you have to be content with with being able to go to a tough place, play um, good defensively, carve out decent chances, and then you know sometimes they don't go in. That's okay. I thought I thought we were, we have something to be proud of today. Again, uh, media, if you like to ask a question, please use the hand raise function. Zoom. We'll go next to Jeremiah O'Shan. Go ahead, Jeremiah. Yeah. Uh... I guess either one of you, but uh, Steph specifically, it, it had been, I think, 11 games that you guys had a shutout. Does it feel good to just sort of get back, keeping the clean sheet? And uh, is that is there a mental aspect of, of just being able to, to to do that, even, you know, regardless of the result? Yeah, I, I, th I think so. You know, we, we took great pride in being, what, uh, 20, 20 games and 10 shutouts, I think it was. So that's... That's a heck of a pace, and, and and you know that you're not going to be able to maintain that, unfortunately. Uh, but uh, yeah, it took a bit longer for us to finally get another one. But you know, I I'd argue that over the last uh, what was it four or five six games that we've been unbeaten now, we've really started to work on defending as a team again and defending for each other all the way from the very front, um, and that's what it's going to take. You know, I've always said that that shut shutouts are so fragile. You know, you, you can have a 92 minute amazing game and then there's one tiny little bit of an error or a, or a s s weird deflection and there it is, it's gone, you know. And so um, it, it takes everybody and it takes everybody all the way. Um, and so we've, we've kind of started building that a little bit over the last few games, I think. And uh, I, I sense a, a bit of pride within the team again that defensively we're going to be hard to beat. That's, that's it. And uh, it's a good thing to see, a good sign.
Mas Vita, go ahead. Yeah, uh, Steph, I'll stay with you. Uh, y'all didn't make the playoffs last year. Just how, how does it uh, – actually, both of you, how does it feel to get back in the playoffs after a year layoff and just not taking that for granted after being go, going every year? Well, I'll start. I think I don't think we're in yet, right? Uh, I don't know. It depends which, which stats I'm looking at. Yes. Okay. You're not – okay. I can rephrase it. No, that's okay. No, that's, that's okay. I just want – yeah, I just want to say that we're, we're – we 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 saw we needed to win the day to get to clinch it. That was an opportunity. Um, obviously we didn't, but um, I still think the, the the performance was great, especially kind of building into the playoffs. Um, um, you're going to have to have good performances on the road like we just did today. Um, but also you're going to have to have really good performances at home and take care of business at home. So it sets us up quite well because if we want to do something in the playoffs, we're going to have to be able to do all those things. Now we have two big games at home, and we're going to have to take care of it. So um. um it's it's never taken for granted. I think we've had an incredible high standard with the Sounders, and nobody should ever take that for granted. Um, I feel exceptionally blessed and honored that I've been part of this team that's been able to go to the playoffs every year uh, uh, until last year. I mean, I, my first five years with Toronto, I would never made the playoffs. Uh, there's teams that are hardly making the playoffs. Um, I'm, I'm not saying that, you know, uh, we should be accepting that we didn't make it last last year. But um, it's a high standard. Um, it puts pressure on guys. Um, they want to come out on top of it um, and, and keep that keep that standard high. But uh, I like what I'm seeing right now. Jackson, how important is it just in terms of the tone that Steph is talking about? Like, you don't wait till you're in the playoffs. It's important to build that mentality now. How important is that to, to get together now? Yeah, definitely. Because... I mean, you can't just go into the playoffs and then try to start building something. You have to try to build momentum before and then carry that into the playoffs. Um, and to go back, I think, I mean, I, I this is my second year, so I've actually, I've never been in the playoffs. So I'm, I'm just excited if we make it, to be able to play in some big games. Thanks. All right, Jeremiah, why don't you close out our player portion here? Go ahead. Uh, Jackson. Reed played, uh, I, I mean, it looked to me like he had a, a pretty outstanding two-way game. Uh, what did you make of his his performance? And uh, how much does it help to have, you know, a, a, a player that can kind of get up and down the line like he did today? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I thought he had a great game. Um, he had big shoes to fill uh, with Nuhu being out. Um, and, but I thought he did a great job defensively, getting forward, um, distribution, uh, he made some huge tackles, um, and he was helping me out. You know, I, I tried to cover him when he stepped, and he covered me a couple times. Um, so we're working on that relationship, but it's super important to have players like that, that when someone's suspended or injured, they can step up and have a big performance like that. You know, Jackson, I actually wanted to ask you one more question about the, the tackle you had uh, that seemingly saved a goal there at the end of the, the half. Uh, what's What's going through your mind on that play uh, as they're sort of streaking forward and, and you're having to kind of follow the play? Yeah, uh, just run as fast as I can to try to be a part of the play. And Christian did a really good job. Um, he hustled all the way back and made Schaffelberg cut the ball back, which gave me an opportunity to make a play on it. Um, but to answer your question, I mean, I was, I was just sprinting as hard as I can. And I think we all, I think we all were. There's a lot of guys – hustling back. And that's what Steph was talking about, about um, defending as a team and defending together.